kind of towards the end of my first year, especially beginning of my second year of banking, I started thinking like, what about corporate? Like, I, I think there's a lot of cool corporate jobs out there. A lot of cool tech companies. I had friends who had transitioned from banking to tech um, and like finance or corp dev type roles. I would visit them sometimes during like their company's happy hour. Yeah, it's a thing. Like this happy hours are pretty common within tech uh, prior to COVID. And I would just go, I'm like in my banking outfit, you know, button up shirt with my like banker bag. And I would go and everyone's wearing t-shirts and, you know, there's people riding scooters around the office and there's, you know, whiskey <laughs> and beer flowing everywhere. I'm like, oh my God, like, what is this world? This felt crazy to me. Like, why would anybody do private equity or whatever, when you can, you know, have such a vibrant, happy kind of atmosphere. Right. Um, so as I think at that point, I started thinking about it more seriously. Like, like it'd be really fun to work at like a 2000, 3000 person company, you know, building really cool pieces of technology that everyone, you know, uses and, um, not have to work 80 to 90 hour weeks. And, uh, yeah, so I started interviewing a lot of different tech companies, and I think let's for talk, me before you, before we yeah. jump there, let's talk a little bit about the PE stuff. So you you did go through some processes. Did you um, did you get make it to like final rounds on any of them? To like what what was it like? You know, any firm? Do you remember specifically? Was it all West Coast? Like you wanted to stay here, right? Yeah, mostly West Coast. I did have... any growth equity? Any growth equity shops and stuff? Yeah, I um, mostly just PE. A couple of growth like iconic, um, and then. But mostly like middle market PE shops. Um, I felt like maybe I didn't quite have the pedigree to go, you know, to the mega PE shops, right? Like I, um, I don't know. I, I, cause I, again, I'm like, I, I wasn't, I didn't even have that much conviction that I wanted to do PE. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll test the waters a little bit with the middle market shops. I had had a number of final rounds. I didn't necessarily close any of them. And I think I probably would have joined if I did, right? I think. I'll probably been like, okay, well, this is what I'm supposed to do. I That's should just what I join. Have to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I think looking back now, I would have gone probably harder into growth equity. I think that is a type of investment structure and product that probably fits my skill set and my personality the best. Um, so if I had to do it again, I'd probably look at the top growth shops a little bit more actively. I think P itself probably wasn't nearly as interesting to me, probably look, take a deeper look at the iconics of the world. Um, what about VC? I um, I think it depends, right? VC, there's a broad spectrum depending on stage and focus. I don't see myself as a very early stage person. I think again, it's, it's about your own aptitude and about what type of work you like working on. I, I like doing financial work. I like doing true due diligence, right? It's not about, I met these founders and I feel like they could be a great this could be the next Zuckerberg or the next Elon Musk, but it's, I like actually working with numbers and understanding what the story that the numbers are trying to tell, right? And I think at growth, especially, there's a level of just like opportunity ahead for these companies that's exciting, but at the same time, it's still grounded in technical analysis, which I think would fit the type of work I enjoy doing the most. 